I'm Nahid, and today we're going to be working on twists. I love twists, my favourite things ever. What happens is as soon as you've untwisted, all the blood pumps into those areas and gives you lots of oxygenated blood and gives you lots of energy, so it's a very good detoxifying thing to do. We're going to start on the floor. So we're going to have our heels immediately underneath our knees. We're just going to gently roll down. And then very simply, let's just do a couple of dynamic bridges just to prepare the spine. So take your shoulder points down the back and then just very slowly and mindfully find your feet on the mat. So imagine that they are um, sinking into wet sand and you want your kneecaps directly up and your neutral spine. And then very slowly curl your pubic bone in towards your ribcage, press down through the feet and then you're slowly going to come up into your bridge. Your palms are facing up, so you don't really want to use them. We're only going to come up to our shoulders, so no higher than that, not into the neck at all. We're going to inhale the hip points just a little bit higher. And as you exhale, curl the pubic bone back in towards the ribs and really lengthen that spine before you lay it back down onto the ground. Two more times, inhale. Exhale, curl, lift up low back, middle back, just resting on upper back. Inhale a little higher and exhale, curl pubic bone into ribs as you lengthen and lower, lengthen and lower. I'm just going to pop a little brick in between my thighs. You can use a cushion as well. Just gives you lots of space. We're just going to go into a little twist. Your palms are going to be down on the ground. Take your shoulder tips back down again. But again, just to prepare the spine, let's take it over to the right. So knees over to the right, nice and slowly. And then you're going to inhale. And exhale, draw belly button all the way in. And then take your knees very slowly over to the left. Inhale here. And exhale, draw the belly in. Two more times each side. All the way over to the right. Inhale. Exhale, draw everything else, draw those knees back up again, all the way over to the left. Inhale here, yeah, feet can touch the floor. Exhale, draw everything up and in. One more time. Exhale. Inhale here. Exhale as the knees go all the way over to the left. Inhale here. And exhale, draw your knees all the way back in. So don't move the head when you're doing twists like this, or just keep staring up above. We're going to remove that block, hug your knees into the chest, take your right arm up overhead, and roll over onto your right hand side. Head rests on the arm. You're going to just slowly and gently come all the way up. Slowly to standing. So pop your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. You're going to tuck your toes under and then you're going to just arch your back up to the sky. So as if someone's got you by the belly button and they're drawing it up through the spine and now they're taking you back towards the back of the room. Press your hands forwards, press into your toes and gently lift your knees off the ground. You're going to keep spiraling out through your hands. Good. So really opening up the shoulders, the collarbones, keeping all that nice and open. Inhale, up onto toes. Exhale, send the right heel to the back wall as you bend your left knee. Inhale, up onto toes. Exhale, bend the right knee, send the left heel to the back wall. Nice. Inhale, up onto toes. And then exhale, send both heels to the back wall. Just really lengthen through the spine here. Keep the neck nice and long. And then very slowly, you're going to sway your hips from side to side as you bring one hand and then the other hand back towards your feet. Your heels will plop down on the ground. Your thighs are in contact with your belly. You're going to inhale up onto fingertips. And you're going to exhale as you press down through the heels, through the bones of the feet. As much as you need to, I'm going to keep my hands down on the ground to come into your forward fold. So bend your knees as much as you need to to do this. Good. You're going to take your right hand, to take both hands forwards, and you're going to inhale up onto fingertips. Your right hand is in the middle of the mat, and then you're going to sweep your left hand all the way up. You're going to try and keep your pelvis nice and level, so really press down with the left foot as you reach up, and exhale all the way back down again. Let's try that on the other side. Inhale up onto left fingertips, and carry on that inhalation as you take your right arm all the way up, as if it's a big wing, and all the way back down again. Press down through the bones of the feet, 
as you slowly come up one vertebra at a time until the head is immediately above the spine. We're going to take a step forward, feet are hip distance apart. You're going to really find, allow gravity to just weight you down into the mat. So allow the bones to really sink down into the mat. Take your tailbone down, pubic bone slightly up towards your ribs. And then take your head back ever so slightly as well. We're going to inhale and take fingertips up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, flex the hands, push the walls away as you lift up from pubic bone to navel, navel to the centre of the chest, fingertips touch down on the mat. We're going to inhale all the way up, or halfway up. Exhale, slowly back down. Again, you can take your left foot into your chest and push it all the way back behind you until you come down into a runner's lunge. So let's nicely find that lunge. You're going to pick up your right heel, you're going to press it down into the ground and use that press down to lift yourself all the way up into your high lunge. You can also do this with the back knee down. Inhale into fingertips, you're going to pop your right hand down and right hip and just level your hips off there. I've got a real tendency to lift that, hitch that hip up a little bit. Inhale into left fingertips and as you exhale, twist all the way over to the right. The lower body stays nice and quiet. We're going to reach forwards and then allow that elbow to rest on the outer thigh. Press top hand on top of bottom hand. Press down to come into your uh, twisted lunge. Inhale here. Exhale and sink a little bit more. You're going to really press down through that right foot. Release the hands, frame the front foot, and then step all the way back into your downward dog. Good, walk through your dog and let's try that on the other side. We're going to inhale, coming into it a different way, take left heel up to sky, exhale, bring it into your chest and then gently down into your runner's lunge. Just adjust your back foot if you need to, pick up the left heel, press it down to push up and away from the floor. Nice, inhale, fingertips up to the ceiling. And then as you exhale, take your left hand on left hip, inhale into right fingertips. So we're looking for this length first. And as you exhale, twisting from the belly button, reach all the way over to your left hand side until you can't reach anymore. And then reach as you bring your torso down and then pop your right elbow by the left thigh. Press down with top hand, lift the centre of the chest up. So I really want to get these right ribs twisted all the way around. I'm doing that by really using the core, good. Inhale here, take the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, release the hands back down to the ground and come back into your downward dog. Just adjust yourself and take a little walking dog here. Nice. And then you're going to take your left foot in towards your right foot. As you inhale, just float the right heel up to the sky. Keep spiralling through the hands here. And as you exhale, draw everything in towards your spine as you come forwards into your runner's lunge. Just going to adjust myself again. Always worth adjusting. So the transitions are as important as the pose themselves. Pick up that heel, press it down and come all the way up into your high lunge, nice, and exhale, flex your hands, push the air away from you as you slowly land all the way, fingertips down to the ground. I'm going to take a big step forwards and out with my left foot and I'm also just going to pop this block where I might need it. Um, you could use a big book or something that you have around at home that's quite solid and will give you a bit of support. I'm going to pop that down there for now. So my hips a level. I've got no twisting in my hips at all. And I'm going to inhale up into fingertips and I might actually need that block. And as I exhale, I'm going to forward fold. So it's almost as if I'm trying to drape the front of my body down that front leg. So it's an intense forward stretch. I'm really feeling it all the way along the back of my right foot. So inhale up into fingertips again. Look for that length before you exhale and slowly fold all the way down. We're going to have a little change now. We're going to take our right hand, right thumb into the right hip crease and just draw that right hip back a little bit. Good. I'm going to pop this block up on just by my right foot, in front of my right foot, but up on its end there. And as I inhale, I'm going to lift up, really drawing the belly up and in. And as I exhale, I'm just going to rest my left toe, uh, fingers on the block. Nice. 
Keep the hips nice and level. And as I inhale, I sweep the right arm all the way up. So it's a revolved triangle. If that doesn't feel comfortable, just keep your hand on your hip as you keep lengthening the spine away from that right hip. Inhale here. Exhale, let it go. We're going to pop both fingers down, both hands down onto the ground. You're going to bend the right knee, step up with the left heel, and very slowly and very mindfully, you're going to stretch that left heel all the way back until you come into a nice long forward fold. Inhale, up on fingertips. Exhale, let it go. You're going to step your feet in together. So the big toe joints touch, but the heels are slightly apart. The outer edges of the feet are parallel to the mat. And then you're just going to allow the bottom to slowly descend. You're going to spread your arms out like wings, thumbs up to the sky, press down to come all the way up. And as you exhale, part the hands and just imagine that you're sliding your back down a wall. So we're going to sit down into chair. Good. And just watch the bottom doesn't um, point out. You want to just draw up with the pubic bone into the ribs. So we're not exaggerated in any which one way, but the spine feels nice and long. Fingertips sparkling up to the sky. Inhale here. And as you exhale, hands down to heart. Let's take that twist over to the right again. Inhale, thumbs touch breastbone. And as we exhale, take your left elbow onto your right thigh. Now you want to make sure this left knee doesn't come forwards with you. Press your hands down to meet the center of the chest. Inhale here. And exhale. Release down into a forward fold. Inhale up on fingertips. Exhale, arms out like wings. Inhale, press down to come all the way up. And as you exhale, slowly slide yourself down an imaginary wall. Good. Adjusting the pelvis, inhale. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale. And exhale, twisting from the navel, making sure that right knee doesn't come in with you, pressing hands in together to lift you up and away from the thigh. Good, trying to get my right ribs round to the left, inhale. And exhale, releasing everything down to the floor, forward fold. Inhale, up on fingertips. Exhale. You're going to take your right leg all the way back into a lunge. So standing in runner's lunge here, inhale onto fingertips. And as we exhale, press that left heel all the way down to lift yourself up. Energy sparkling out of your fingertips up to the sky. And then we're going to allow the left hand to really weight down your left hip. Inhale into right fingertips and turn all the way, twisting all the way to the left, reaching forward and come into your twisted lunge. So exactly the same as we did in the chair, pressing down through the hands, trying to get right ribs to the left. So inhaling here, and as you exhale, we're going to release the hands down to the ground, and then I'm going to take a massive step forwards with the right leg and out to the outer edges of the mat. I'm going to take my left hip back, right hip slightly forward, and I'm going to pop my block up on this end, I think. Fingertips on it. I'm going to inhale and lengthen up and away from the pubic bone. So it's really important to get this length here before you then drape the body down the front leg. Nice. And again, keep pressing down through the heel. So we want to keep the knee slightly bent because we don't want to stress out the joints at all. But you should be feeling the most delicious strength all the way up the back line of the left leg. Good. Inhale up on fingertips here. Take your left thumb into the crease of your left hip. Pop this block or your book up on its end. And then we're going to pop it in front of the left uh, foot. And then you're going to inhale as you take your right hand all the way up. And twisting from the belly button, you release the right fingertips down onto the ground. You can stay here or you can sweep the left arm up to the sky, up to you. I'm going to stay here just to... Um, have symmetry with the other side. You keep lengthening, lengthening the spine up and away from the pelvis and as you exhale see if you can take that twist a little bit deeper. Nice and then facing back forwards again leaving that block to one side taking both fingertips down onto the ground bending the left knee pressing into the left foot and then taking a big step forwards into your forward fold. We're going to inhale here and we're going to exhale 
exhale, just grab your elbows and then just swing from side to side, releasing any tension, releasing your fingertips down to the ground, bending the knees, pressing down to slowly unravel all the way up, fingertips up to the sky, exhale, well done. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, then please leave them below. And do remember to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you again next week.